Now, members of this new defence alliance, that's an alliance between the UK, the US and Australia, have now agreed to cooperate on hypersonic weapons and electronic warfare, cap warfare sorry, capabilities. Hypersonic missiles are missiles and projectiles which can travel up to 25 times the speed of sound, making them extremely difficult to intercept. Well, let's get more on all of this. Delighted to say I'm joined by the non-proliferation expert and former Soviet government official, Dr. Nikolai Solvok. Thank you very much indeed, Nikolai, for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, just Thank first of all, I, I, I was just trying to explain there what hypersonic missiles are. They clearly are incredibly fast, 25 times the speed of sound. Well, not necessarily, actually. Uh, hypersonic is... Uh, defined as uh, five times uh, the speed of sound or more. Okay, so, so they, 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 they could go up to 25 times, but they only need to be five times. And yes, the could, reason yes, they're dangerous yes, yes. is because, obviously, with conventional missiles, there is an opportunity uh, for either uh, the opposition on the ground or in the air to intercept those missiles. That's very difficult when they're traveling quite so fast. Yes, exactly. Yes, and that's uh, the primary actual reason uh, why Russia and China have been developing uh, these missiles. Uh, uh, the main actual reason to develop them was to penetrate uh, the missile defense systems uh, that the United States has, and the American missile uh, defense systems mm, are quite capable mm, and really uh, the best in the world. So. To penetrate them, or you need to fly very, very fast. And what, why haven't we, do you know, Nikolai, why, why haven't we developed these uh, weapons here in, in the West, or certainly in the UK, Australia and America? The United States actually looked at hypersonic weapons before, but decided uh, that they were not actually needed. Uh, uh, they're quite expensive and quite actually uh, uh, challenging uh, to design and produce, uh, quite expensive. Uh, too, and really, uh, in terms of targets, in terms, uh, they're quite similar uh, uh, to subsonic missiles uh, that the United States already has. Oh, uh, without now, no. Sorry, I, I was just going to ask. Yeah, you, you carry on, carry on. I was uh, going to say that on one hand, well, it simply seems you know contenable. Uh, and the United States does not. And the second actual reason, um, much more tangible, in fact, uh, is that uh, they're very good at uh, uh, when you talk about Russia, you talk about um, mobile strategic missiles uh, 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 that you need to hit very, very fast. Uh, when you talk about China, you primarily talk about China. Uh, so speed for uh, time-sensitive targets is the key. Uh, indeed. Uh, your, your science, unfortunately, is slightly dipping in and out. But I'm going to ask you one more question before we let you go, uh, Nikolai. Is, and that is that we are now uh, looking at uh, essentially a new arms race. Is, is that fair to conclude? Yes, it's fair to conclude. Uh, a new arms race, uh, the United get a successful test of a hypersonic missile approximately two weeks ago. Yes, so now uh, three countries will actually join forces and primarily join funding to complete uh, uh, the development program and um, uh, to produce them in quantity. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.